Hey everybody, it's Gamma Lad, and welcome to the inevitable Let's Play I knew I had to do. Harvest Moon, Light of Hope. Yeah, I've been a bit vocal about this game, and I guess I finally decided to shut up and put my money where my mouth is. Um, I'll probably do a review of this game at some point in the near future, but let's let this Let's Play serve as my first impressions, or at least this first episode serve as my first impressions of the game, which is probably why episode one will probably be called My First Impressions, or something along those lines. So, uh, yeah, here we are of Harvest Moon, Light of Hope. Just a disclaimer, as I mentioned every time I cover a Natsume Harvest Moon game, Harvest Moon and Bokujo Monogatari are now two different series. Harvest Moon Light of Hope is not is not part of the mainline Harvest Moon series, such as games like Friends of Mineral Town and A Wonderful Life. It's now part of its own series under a new name. Sorry, under the old name, with Bokujo Monogatari being the old Harvest Moon under the name now Story of Seasons. Very confusing, yes, I know, but I have a video I'm explaining that in detail, which I'll have probably on a card somewhere in this video. But anyway, let's get this started with a, <laughs> a new game, shall we? Alright, let's see how this goes. Um, this game is coming out for the... Um, my mouse is on the screen now, it's kind of distracting. Um, this game will be coming out for the PS4 and Switch. Um, I am playing this on the PC, and really, there's no keyboard support? Fine, I'll have to type my name in. Patrick! Alright. Oh, uh... Can I confirm? N oh my! <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, my birthday is in spring. Uh, let's go with mid-spring. Alright, that's me! A very cozy night by the looks of it. I enjoy a good rain sh uh, rain storm or rain shower. <clears> oh, <throat> hold, hold on! You had to see us coming up. Like, no, I, I believe I, 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 no, no. I find it hard to believe how you didn't notice this right off the bat. Anyway, oh well, here we are. Oh, um, um, well, phew, I'm glad you're finally awake. Are you okay? Are you hurt anywhere? Uh, uh, no, not at all, but how did I get here? Oh, there's nothing to worry about. You can relax. This is my home. Oh, uh, thanks. I found you lying in front of my, my doorstep. Maybe you were caught in, in yesterday's terrible storm. So wait, that girl who found us. Instead of taking us, like, knocking on her door, saying, Hey, I found this person outside. Just take a look at him. She just instead dropped us in front of her doorstep and walked away. GG. Oh my goodness. Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I should have introduced myself first. My name is Jean. I live on this island, and I'm the training to become a herbal doctor. I'm also the lighthouse keeper. Oh, how convenient. Um, my name's Patrick. Oh, that's right, there's a magnificent lighthouse here. That's the reason why it's called Beacon Town. Um, so, would it be okay if I asked your name? I just said it, but it's Patrick. Nice to meet you. Patrick, I see. That's a very nice name. Oh, I'm sure you said that's to all the new people that randomly wash up on the shore. Hmm. Uh, what's the matter? Oh, I'm sorry. I just thought it was uh, a little strange. You see, when I found you in front of in front of my house, someone had already treated your wounds and covered you in a blanket. My guess is that somebody actually brought you here. What a wonderful person. Huh. Okay. But who could that have been? Huh? Wait, so you mean you think you remember who helped you? I I, I don't know what, who it was, but okay. Hmm, a girl with blue eyes and short purple hair. I don't think I know it, know her. There aren't many people left on this island, so I'd probably know if I'd seen her before. I know I'm not hallucinating. That's right, there are only a few of us left on the island now because of a big storm that, caused, that came by several years ago. It would be nice to see the town go back to how it, it once was, but as I said, there aren't many people left. Huh, I wonder why. I mean, I can try helping if you want. Wait, what? You're saying you want to live here? Yeah, sure. I mean, just got just got knocked, knocked off a boat. Don't really remember where I was going. Um, 
Pretty sure the rest of the people on that boat are dead, so why not? Of course, you're welcome to do so. I'll even show you a, a place where I think you might be able to live. There's a farm at the edge of the town that isn't being used anymore. We can just go see if, if that works for you. What a coincidence! I was a farmer in my own my old town. Well, here we are. This is the farm. Huh. Okay. Not the greatest looking place for sure, I'll say that much. Well, it's pretty spacious at least. I know what you're thinking, it doesn't look like a farm, and you're right. But I'm sure you'll be able to live on it once you've tilled the land. Hold on, wait here, right, right, right here. Uh, this is a bad idea. Hmm, I'm pretty sure the people who lived here before were using it. It has to be here somewhere. Oh, here it is. Oh, we got a hoe. And a watering can. And ten cabbage seeds. Wonder how long they've been sitting there. You'll need to learn how to grow your own crops if you're going to live here, so I'll teach you what I know. First, you need to till the land to make a crop field. Think of it as preparing a fluffy bed for your crops. So, um, why not try tilling a small section of the land you, this, uh, in, the, in this area using the hoe I just gave you? Move the cursor to an empty plot and press the action button. Go, go on and try a few. Okay. Hopefully these controls translate well to controller. Okay, ooh, cool, use the D-pad. That's actually pretty good. Wait, can I? Oh, oh, I can actually push her around. Do, do, do. Can I like push her outside of the, oh, she actually walks back, darn. Okay. Um. Okay, one till did it. I don't know how the farming in this works, but okay. Good work, that's a pretty nice looking field you've, you've made. You know, you might be have a knack for this, Patrick. Moving on, next uh, let's try planting the cabbage seeds I gave you earlier into the plots you just tilled. Open your bag and select the seed. Then, just like before, move the cursor into the into the plot and press the action button. All right. So we got to open our bag, uh, cabbage seeds. We got ten of them. All right, so it still uses the old mechanic where you only can plant one at a time. You can't do the um, thing where you can plant a, a three by three till um, and then just like throw and scatters them all out. All right. Four cabbages planted. Oh, would you would you look at that? You did a great job planting those seeds into your plots. <laughs> it's nice seeing those seeds go back into the ground. It almost feels like you're you're planting the seeds of hope. Ha! Well, you know what? I'm glad you shined the light onto that one. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to start rambling. All right. Next up, let's try watering those seeds you just planted. All right. I will say this much about the game so far is um, the 3D models on this on these 2D like sprites really feel kind of jarring. I I don't know why. And the animations look, look kind of wonky. It's like it's, it looks like he's running further than he actually is going. Oh well. All right. Were you able to fill your uh, your watering can with if your water? Great. Now you can water those cabbage seeds you just planted. Are you ready? Just like you've been doing, move, okay, blah, 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 watering plants is watering plants. Alright, so, um, oh, I actually have to equip it? Okay, no, I don't. Okay, good. Alright, all the cabbages are planted. Looking very nice. Oh, and you need to water your crops once a day. If you forget to water them, they'll grow weak and eventually wither. And that pretty much sums up the basic steps of on, on how to grow crops. Hmm, Patrick, are you okay? You still look a bit tired. You see that house over there? No one's living in it right now, so you're free to use it. What are you waiting for? I'll show you the inside of the house. Oh, okay, thanks. This is all too convenient. Ooh, is this mail for me? Oh, there's, there's actually no mail in there. 
Well, what do you think? It might feel a bit cramped, but it should have everything you need for now. I tidy this place up once in a while, so you can use the bed in the kitchen without any without, yeah, without anything to worry about. As a doctor, I suggest you rest for the remainder of the day. A good night's sleep will relieve you of your fatigue. Okay, yes, but do you have to watch us while we sleep? I live in the house on the, on the hill to the north of the lighthouse. If you have any questions, just come by and ask. Oh, and after a night, I think your cabbages should grow in size. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Go relax and get some rest. Wish I could do that right now. I just got back from class after it got canceled at the last second. Literally, my professor canceled the class two minutes before class started. Oh, that was not fun. Instead of taking a nap, here I am recording this. Help, someone help me. I'm being crushed. I can't breathe. <laughs> Please? Oh. Did the cabbage we plant actually kill someone by accident? Somebody help me! Please! Huh? I wonder what that could have been. Probably one of the harvest sprites, calling it. Hello, is someone there? Can you please pull that weed out? out? I really need your help. Move the cursor to the weed. Okay, use. Okay. I mean, that weed wasn't there earlier. But, uh, sure. Thanks, whoever it was that pulled the weed out. But can you move that stone tablet to... That was not there yesterday. What in the world? Okay, got a stone tablet. Alright, sorry about that cut there. Had to actually cut out a, a few things real fast because I'm playing this on Steam and I keep forgetting to go offline when we're playing on Steam. Don't want my friends to see, see their names while um, I'm recording a video. Can you tell me your name? Uh, it's Patrick. Nice to meet you, strange guy in a yellow costume. Patrick, got it. My name is Rowan. I'm the Harvest Rite of, of Crops. Nice to meet you. As you can see, I'm kind of small. I got stuck under that stone tablet, and I couldn't even move. It was terrible. Jeez, who put that stone tablet here anyway? I wish people would think about us Harvest Sprites. It's not like people could see you. Hmm? I'm not sure either. I mean, I, now that you mention it, I do sense something strange about it. Maybe if you ask someone um, smart, they might know. There's a lady named Jean that lives in the west of your farm. Maybe she knows something about it. Y yes, we know. Yes, we met her already. Oh, you know her? Then go talk to her right away. All right. Uh, before we do that, let's go ahead and water our plants real fast here. Or, or you know, till some more by accident. That, that, that works too. Um, But yeah, like I mentioned earlier, I believe the 2D art in this game versus the 3D art is kind of, well, jarring, really. I don't know. It could just be me. Oh, I probably should pull more weeds and just plant all these cabbage seeds. There we go. We'll have, we'll have a nice harvest of cabbage, cabbages. Cabbages. And then we can start making some real money in this game. All right. There we go. All of, them, all of them are planted. Let's go ahead and water them. Granted, we'll have an uneven harvest, but, you know, what can you do? Tutorials and whatnot. All right, so now let's go ahead and... Oh, it's kind of weird. You can't walk through weeds, which is kind of odd. Anyway, let's go ahead and see Jean about that whole stone tablet type thing. I think I'm going the right way. The entire town seems kind of, uh... Seems quite empty here. And quite dreary. Not a place I would want to just up and decide to live in right before, you know, right after uh, sh being shipwrecked here. But hey, uh, it is what it is. Can't really help the circumstances you're given. I swear she's the only one living in this town right now. Oh, hello, Patrick. Is something the matter? Yes, I found this stone. Oh, hmm, that's an interesting stone tablet you found. Yes, yes it is. So, what is it? I don't know what it is. No, I don't think I've ever seen it. Wait, hold on. I think I might have seen a panel with a similar shape to that tablet over at the lighthouse. Then, let's go investigate it. I have to agree, it's got, got me quite curious. Why don't we head to the lighthouse lighthouse set? We, we may even be able to find out where it came from. Oh, 
Oh, wow. It's a big lighthouse. <laughs> it's, it is, isn't it amazing? This lighthouse has been around for a very long time. It has some history. There's even a legend that says a guardian lives up there, lives up there and shines light upon the entire island to make it prosper. Okay, but why isn't it shining light now? Yeah, that's right. My family have been keepers of this lighthouse for many generations. I'm actually the 20th. But you see, several years ago, there was a huge storm, and ever since then, the lighthouse stopped working. Has anyone tried to go in and, you know, fix it? No matter how hard we tried to fix it, it just wouldn't light up anymore until one day it stopped working altogether. It doesn't make much sense. The lighthouse's main objective is to light stuff up. If it wouldn't light up anymore, it means it stopped working altogether well before the day it stopped working altogether. It was around then that the island began to change. Hmm, change in what way? It would make me happy to see its light uh, shine, shine upon Beacon Town again, once again, but we can't do anything about it. Oh, what is it? So we put the stone here? That's the panel I was talking about. Maybe you can try placing the tablet into, into it and see if it fits. Alright, let's go ahead and do that. I mean, it's quite convenient. Oh, it's, now it's lighting up. What's going on? How did the, the lights turn on in the lighthouse? Do you think it was the stone tablet? Man, that's a very convenient, convenient on button. It's a miracle! I never thought the lighthouse would ever work again. Woohoo! The land has been revived. Oh, I'll say. You don't know how, how happy I am. Thank you so much, Patrick. <laughs> hey, so, um, I've noticed you keep talking to yourself. Is something wrong? Wait, you can't see it? Oh, she can't see me. You're actually the only, only one who can see me here, Patrick. So you might want to whisper when you're talking to me. Yeah, it's a better idea. Now I'm a bit worried. Maybe I should have had it <laughs> had him checked out at, at a hospital. Oh, gee, thanks. Anyway, there was a really bright light, wasn't it? It's all thanks to that stone tablet you found. I mean, you're talking about getting a chicken in a hospital, but somehow a magic stone tablet somehow turned on the first floor light of a lighthouse. There are four more panels uh, like this. Do you think some something will happen if we find the others? Yeah, probably. Patrick, you need to go find the remaining stone tablets. If you do that, I think the Harvest Goddess will, will be revived. Or, oh, Harvest Goddess, I hope she's doing well. Maybe this light from the lighthouse will bring her some hope. Can we stop with the light of hope jokes? I mean, holy cow. Yes, I am one. I love bad puns as much as the next person, but that's a bit of a forced one with, with how much you're name dropping the game like that. Many winters have come and gone, and still no sign of the tablets. Where are you, Harvest Goddess? If the lighthouse is restored, the Harvest Goddess's power will return. I must find all those tablets, quick. Alright, spooky magi magician dude. Patrick, wake up! Come on, you have to wake up! Oh, come on. What's up? Someone has just arrived on the island, but he seems a little strange. I mean, it's really rare for people to show up on the island. You have to go to, go to town and meet him. Why do I have to go? I just arrived here myself. Uh, alright. Let's go into town and meet this person. Wait, are the cabbages ready already? Okay, they're not just quite ready. Alright. I never, you know, with Natsume's Harvest Moon, there's one thing I never understood if I liked or not. Is how fast the crop cycles go. Um, the, like, the crops grow insanely fast in these games. Like, in Story of Seasons, if I planted a plot of tomatoes, they would take about two in-game weeks to finish growing, but then they can re-harvest them every couple days. Here, in here, it's like, you know, they grow after, like, two or three days. But at the same time, you can grow a pair of onions and other vegetables in, like, four or five days in Story of Seasons. But I guess, I guess so it evens itself out. Anyway, um... 
Okay, he's not up here. I mean, we're the only people in town, so I'm not really too worried on all too much. If she's the only one who's been living here, it's like, how, like, how has she been sustaining herself? Looks like you ran, ran out of cabbage seeds. Let me give you some more. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me. Oh. Can we just get, like, infinite cabbage seeds from her like that? That's interesting. Do I have to go back to my farm and just, like, you know, create more cabbage seeds? Or cabbage plots, really? Anyway, oh my goodness. Can we walk any slower? I'm trying to figure out where we actually went. Oh, can't go that way. Yeah, it says someone had showed up to town, but I'm in town and no one's here. Leave it to me to have gone the wrong way on the first attempt. Is there anything up this way? Nope, that's blocked off. Bulletin board. Uh, a lot of farm area we can't really access because of all this stuff. Ooh, what's in here? No one's there. Well, obviously, but it would still be good to, you know, go in and investigate it. All right. Guess we really can't do much there, so let's try going back into town once more, because... I... don't know! It's like this game... Oh, I guess I have to go south. Oh! That's where the town is! Oh boy, now now this is a prime example of a lonely, deserted island. Wh what was I thinking? There's no way I can do business here. Oh, hey there, a new face in town? Say, are you just interested in some of my wares? Uh, sure, but who are you? I'm Sam, just an honest, upstanding, traveling merchant. Nice to meet you, I'm Sam, I'm Patrick. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, Patrick. So, uh, what brings you here, anyway? Oh, yeah? Then welcome to the island. Uh, I, I, I try to guess what he's saying, but okay. How are you liking it? And be honest. I know it's pretty dull around here, but hey, don't you worry about it, because I've got just a thing for you. Oh, uh, what is it? You haven't even looked at it? Come on. Uh, you haven't even looked at it. Come on, let me just show you. So, this vase here, it actually fills up with gold every single night. I even know someone who woke up a billionaire. Isn't it crazy? And speaking of crazy, I also have these blankets that will cure any disease just by sleeping on them. How about that, Patrick? Doesn't it pique your interest? No, not really. I wasn't born yesterday. Well, darn. It's a shame. You're missing out. Do you have anything else you can probably buy? Who, me? I actually used to live here. That is, until we got hit by that storm. Now I live on a different island. Well, gee. That, that's a uh, very good way to put it. Then why are you back here, really? Today I saw light from the lighthouse. That tiny light, I doubt it. While I was traveling the seas of my wares, I thought I'd stop by. Uh, yeah, okay, that's pretty interesting. I'll be honest here, I'd love to get that back back to yeah, get back to business on this island. My shop was destroyed in that storm. Well yeah, that looks pretty run down. I mean, maybe if I still have my shop. Hmm. Holy moly! I just offered to fix my shop up. No, I just said, hmm, and drank some water. That was not an invitation to fix your store. Well, who am I to refuse? I'd be extremely grateful. Hey, Patrick, you're going to help fix up his shop? That's perfect. I'm all for it. But you'll need wood and materials to do the repairs, and to do that, you'll need an axe. Hmm, hey, can I ask you a question real fast? You have an axe? An axe? Darn, I just ran out. But here's an idea. Go ask Jean. She can probably tell you where you can get one. Okay. Uh, so this is this was the town area. Sorry about that cut there. So now we have to go see Jean about uh, getting an axe. Uh, quite interesting if you ask me. <laughs> but um, hmm. let's go ahead and talk to her about the axe and see what we can go from there. I had to make a little bit of a cut there because um, the game. Ooh. Yeah, as you can see, it's stuttering a tad bit. I can't tell if it's the game or if it's just OBS. Um, we'll find. I'll find out once while I'm editing. Oh, hi. Uh, uh, hi, Patrick. Uh, is something wrong? Uh, yeah, I need some help on something else. Really? 
Sam's back in town? Oh, wow, that's wonderful. Okay, and you need an axe to do the repairs on the shop. I see now. An axe, an axe, hmm. I think Naomi had one, right, she's still on the island. So you'll want to visit Naomi in town. Her house has wooden walls and a blue roof. She can probably l lend you one. Okay, so next time on Let's Play Harvest Moon, The Light of Hope, we'll be going to see Naomi and, and getting an axe. If you enjoyed this episode, by all means, be sure to leave a comment down in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think of the series so far and what you guys think of this game so far. And if you're new to my channel, let's find me out for this video right here. Hey, be sure to subscribe and stick around for a while. We'll have a ton of fun here together. And as always, everyone, this is Gamma Lad signing off.